This is a download from BFM 89.9, the business station. Good morning. It's open for business. This is Frida Liu. We're still talking to the finalists from the Alliance Bank Bisman SME Innovation Challenge. We're just back for the third year with prizes worth up to one million. And of course, this is targeted at young SME entrepreneurs. And uh, you know, we'll be catching up with the twenty finalists who made it into the challenge, and we've been talking to them already. So this week, we welcome the seventh and eighth finalists. We have Hui Matthews from Ashby Nimble, who's been on BFM before, and Edwin Wang from Signature Snack. So uh, congratulations to both of you. Thanks, um, yeah. Very interesting businesses. But um, okay, we'll, we'll talk a little bit uh, with you, Hui. Uh, first, you know, the first time you were on the show, you started out with your website. We know a little bit about that history. So how much has the business, okay, before how much has the business grown s- since? Um, a little bit about what you do and yep. then how it's grown. Okay. Uh, hi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Hoi, and I'm from Ashby Nimble. Uh, so when I last spoke to Frida, I think it was last year, yeah, almost a yeah. year ago, um, I had just launched uh, my own sports apparel brand, which is um, ashbynimble.com. So we um, are all about designing and making affordable sportswear. So everything is priced under 100 ringgit that people can buy through our online store. And now we have close to 25 stockists around Southeast Asia, yeah, right. that they can purchase from. Okay. And um, in terms of how much the business has grown, we've in in the last eighteen months that we've been in operation, um, our sales have grown three or four times. Mm. It's been amazing. The support has been overwhelming, and um, also my belly has been growing. I'm now <laughs> expecting a baby, and they're announcing the winner <laughs> probably on the day that the baby is coming out. Yes, exactly. So that's going to be a very interesting challenge to see how we mm. uh, do the final few pitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, so you're now available in 25 locations, right? Yes. And you were saying what, in Malaysia, Singapore, where else? Yeah, so we we um, started with KL mainly. Mm. We Our first uh, international stockist was in Bali, and we're also now in Kuching, Singapore, Manila, and Cebu. Mm. So 25, uh, 25 partnering stockists throughout Southeast Asia, which is really exciting, and we're hoping to hit Jakarta Next. Okay. Yeah. And I guess people who, who don't go to these places to buy them, they can also buy them online. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I think the idea is that, um, you know, I think people still want to feel and try on if it's a new brand. So the idea of these studios are to help us, um, you know, spread the news and the brand and, and let people go in and try the fit and the sizing and feel the material. Um, and it's been quite interesting how we've grown throughout Southeast Asia because, you know, through the friends that we've made um, while working at AirAsia and Boston and even all the trail races we've been doing across Thailand, Indonesia and Singapore, you know, the friends and, and running buddies have said, hey, you need to come to Bangkok, you need mm. to come to Jakarta, you need to come to Manila. So that's how we've, you know, ended up being in all these places, which is um, quite a big you know, interesting story in itself. Okay. So in terms of uh, how people get hold of your products, uh, there's online and you're saying physical stores. What is the, the ratio of, uh, you know, revenues? Where is it coming from mostly? Yeah, so I would say right now it's um, 50-50. Mm. Um, so online, yeah, the online sales are about 50%. Offline, it's a mixture of all these stockists and we're obviously trying to hit as many events as possible, mm. uh, not just locally but internationally as well. So all the the major races in uh, KL and, you know, KL Marathon, Malaysia Women's Marathon and even some of the lifestyle bazaars and markets as well. Uh, we were also recently in Singapore for In The Loop uh, Yoga Festival on, mm. on, um, on the beach and we will be at Namaste Festival in Jakarta as well and um, very exciting that we are actually going to be opening our own little studio and oh. warehouse yeah so that will be uh, on end of this month so okay. we're launching a little secret sale which is obviously not very secret now that it's on <laughs> radio um, but we'll reveal the location very very soon okay um, it'll be Saturday 31st of October right. 11 a.m. Uh-huh. Uh, but go to our Facebook page um, find the event uh, and RSVP and we'll give you all the details for where it's going to be okay so this will be the the new baby before the baby. Yes. Uh, <laughs> people are joking that the the this new little, we're going to call it the fox den. And uh, it'll probably be where my baby is going to end up living. Because okay. <laughs> it'll probably be ready before I 
set up my actual baby room. <laughs> okay. Now, um, you also came out with uh, hijabistas as well. Uh, why did you go into that space? So, um, I guess the the long short story is while I was doing a um, 70 kilometer trail race in Indonesia, which is the Bromo Ultra, um, one of the Indonesian girls who I think she did and she won the the race. Um, she was decked out head to toe in a hijab mm. and in long sleeve top and and leggings and um, and so that kind of sparked an idea. You know, what if I could come up with something that's more comfortable, more lightweight, mm. that would help these girls um, in their races? And actually, a lot of Malaysian girls have been asking mm. us to make. Uh, hijabs for them with the material that we were using for the other apparel. So we did a launch this year in May and mm. it was titled um, Fitness Knows No Borders, No Boundaries, No Body Types. Mm. And it's done really well since. Um, really good response from people in KL, from girls in Singapore, from Australia, even people in Hong Kong, you know, wanting to help out um, uh, refugees coming in from, you know, Afghan, Syria and Iran. So the response has been really, really good and we, we really try and evolve with the needs of, you know, our customers and, and the people that I meet through all these races. Right. And you find that that's very effective, right? Because a lot of these events that you turn up to you usually find your, uh, you know, y- your yoga uh, place owner just wanting to stock your, your products. Yeah, yeah, it's a great way to meet um, potential stockists and also just to meet existing customers. It's very exciting. The, the last last race I did before finding out I was pregnant was um, in April this year. It was mm. the Kamensa. It was a 45-kilometer trail. And it was very exciting. And you were pregnant not I, knowing. I was pregnant not knowing it. So I did 45 kilometers of trail. And since then, I vowed, okay, but uh, just chill out a little. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, so I managed to scrape by thinking that my body was breaking down for some unknown Every reason. Why am I feeling so tired? Yeah, exactly. And I was cramping the whole way. Um, I managed to scrape in like a fourth place, but it was a very... <laughs> Very, very tough race. Um, but, you know, uh, getting to see a lot of girls wearing Ashby Nimble and, you know, friends would tell me at this race they saw this girl wearing this. And even recently we went to a race in Marapo. Yeah. And um, a girl came up to me and said, hey, I've been wearing this. You know, I did 60K with it. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. I did, you know, a race in Sabah as well. And it was really good. So that that has been really good affirmation for me and for the brand. Right. And you, yeah. just, you still design your own things? So you work with the team people who designed? Yes. Um, so this year, um, I mean, ha- ha- falling pregnant does help speed up things. So I started <laughs> hiring <a> people. <laughs> exactly. You get more efficient and, and better at planning. So I've got a team of two now, um, Eleanor and Christina, and they help me out with um, a lot of the social media marketing, with managing the stockists. And um, we also have um, some temp girls that help me out with weekend events in the they're, they're really amazing. Um, eventually, when, you know, if, if we win the challenge or we get some more funding, I would love to be able to have um, a, a designer on board, someone mm. to also help me out with that community engagement so mm. that we're doing more activities. Um, we're reaching out to more people on ground as well. All right. And uh, speaking of healthy stuff, we'll be talking about healthy snacks after this. Um, I've been speaking to Hui Matthews from Ashby Nimble, and we'll hear more from Edwin Wang from Signature Snack. After this, it's open for business, BFM 89.9. Business for Malaysia, BFM 89.9. 89.9. It's open for business. I'm Frida Liu. We're speaking to the finalists for the Alliance Bank Bismart SME Innovation Challenge back for the third year. Um, you know, earlier on we were chatting with Hui Matthews from Ashby Nimble and, and now we're speaking to Edwin Wang from Signature Snacks. So um, how did you get into this, this space, Edwin? It's a very interesting story, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Hi, I'm Edwin, Signature Snack. So um, three years ago, I was like really overweight. I'm 75 kg. I always get tired and I got a lot of gastric problems. And um, I decided one day I look at myself in the mirror and you know, like I look really fat and ugly. <laughs> so uh, that's the turning point for me. And I found like uh, healthy stacking is one of the great ways to lose weight. Mm-hmm. And I'm successfully uh, lost 15 kg in one year. Right. So uh, um, it inspired me to start Signature Snacks. Okay, so how did you, um, you know, but the whole idea of getting Signature Snacks, finding these snacks, was it easy finding these uh, in, uh, nuts and all that? Was that easy, finding the suppliers? Um, uh, because um, cashew nut, almonds are uh, um, staple mm. um, food in Malaysia. So we have a lot of suppliers who supply it. Right. So um, 
is 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 pretty common in Malaysia. Okay, so it's completely on by subscription. Yes, um, it's subscription basis only, mm. and um, it's um, monthly subscription. How do, so? How does it? So people just go online; they can pay by credit card, they can do online payment, and they can subscribe on a monthly basis. They can subscribe for a year. Okay. Um, so how it works is uh, first. Um, they choose the package. Mm. Do they want like monthly, quarterly, or annually? Mm. Then uh, after that, they put in their credit cards, mm. and um, lastly, they just choose five snacks um, every single month. Okay. And we have fifty varieties, and we add in five new varieties every single month. Fifty varieties. What are the uh, What are some of them? What are some of the varieties that you have? Um, we have the classics in US, like. Um, um, go take a high trail mix, mm. <laughs> seven heaven trail mix, uh-huh. and the very famous one healthy nut mix. Okay, and we also have the flavored one. Uh-huh. Uh, one of our best seller is um, cashew nuts, um, garlic bread. Okay, okay, okay. and um, anchovy pistachio. You no, know, like right. very interesting mix, right? Okay, and um, lastly, um, our best best seller for uh, last month is. Salted Valina Cashew Crumble. Okay. It is 50% <laughs> cashew nut and 50%, and 50% uh, cookies. So ah. it's like really, really special. No Malaysian has tasted it before. You put a calorie count on these things? Uh, yes, definitely. Okay. We have a nutrition fat at um, the back of our packaging. Mm. And uh, we make sure that there's um, no unsaturated fat. Okay. And it's not uh, non-GMO and it's 100% Fresh and um, natural, no preservative. And you try, you make them fresh every day. Ah uh, yes, uh, um, we bake it every day and mm. we send direct to our consumer. Mm. So our consumer gets fresh um, uh, snacks every um, every time they receive it. And um, we want to let uh, Malaysian taste what fresh packaged food is all about. Right. Yeah, it's a new trend in um, Asia. Mm. Because we like our unhealthy snacks. <laughs> it's so easily available. Yes, correct, correct. Yeah. So, you know, you go take a, you can use your go take a high trail mix and uh, work with uh, Hui when she goes for her trail walks. Can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, you've also gone to Hong Kong now? Ah, yes. Mm. Um, we just recently started Hong Kong. Um, it's just to try out how scalable our business model is. Mm. Um, in Hong Kong, the story is uh, we found a friend who is in FMB and he's very passionate about tech startup. So um, we joined venture and started uh, Signature Snack Hong Kong. Okay, so uh, and so how has that happened? How how has it been so far with in Hong Kong? Um, right now, we are just doing a lot of awareness and um, testing mm. and a lot of sampling events. And um, right now, we are actually uh, renovating our central kitchen. And we are waiting for our license to um, kickstart our uh, mass marketing. Okay. So, and other than Hong Kong, are you looking at other places? Um, for right now, we are. Um, we want to focus on Malaysia. We want to make it like really, really big in Malaysia and uh, test out all our metrics first because we are very, very data driven. Okay. Yeah. And uh, once the metrics is um, correct. We're going to um, duplicate it in Hong Kong okay. and test it. No? Like, uh, can we duplicate the same um, practices to Hong Kong uh-huh. before we spend more money expanding? What, what, is, what is the data telling you about Malaysians at the moment? Um, right now, the data is very healthy. Mm. And um, we have a lot of subscribers who test us out. Like, um, they started with one monthly, month. Ah. Yeah, one month. Then uh, we we saw a trend where if they like it, they will upgrade to like quarterly to even annually. Okay. So that is a big commitment for them. Okay. So and then how have you been marketing uh, signature snacks? Okay. Um, we have been doing a lot of uh, on-site events, bazaars, a lot of samplings. Uh, the most important thing for F and B is all about uh, letting our customer try and um, give them value. Why, why should they buy from us rather than uh, buy it in retail? Mm. You know? And uh, when they taste like, uh, what's the huge difference? Mm. Because um, all of our snack is handmade and fresh. So they, they really like our product. How long do they last after you open it though? Um, it is pretty standard, no? Like uh, once you open it, it's um, you're gonna last like two weeks. Mm. Yeah, uh, but uh, we advise them to like 
finish it like uh, within like a few days to one week mm-hmm. to get the freshness and you no know, like like don't don't keep it on your rag yeah so just the usual this, yeah. the usual way you should take care of all your food that you get so you guys have gone and, and met with uh, the the CEO chat room with uh, Tansri Liu Kisin and also uh, the uh, structured business coaching on strategic influencing and lead marketing organized by the Alliance Bank what have you guys learned so far what were some of the aha moments for you you know I mean you've been in business for what now six months no, uh, um, what, uh, one year one year you in 18, 18 months, months. What, was some of, some, what was some of the Aha moments. Yeah. Um, um, do you want? Okay. Um, for me, um, I learned a lot about leadership. Okay, and I can see in Tan Sri Liu. Okay, and um, Tan Sri Liu teaches me leadership is not about like being leader, like clever, like good achievement, but it's more towards like um, how to put your ego down, mm. how to being honest to everyone, mm. and how to admit when you are wrong. Okay. That is like the most difficult thing to do if you are a leader. Okay. Okay? And lastly, treat everyone equally. Right. That's like my mm. biggest lesson learned. Okay, so I know Amos was saying yesterday his less his takeaway from him was don't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which he then broke down to say don't do anything illegal. Lah. Okay. Yes, yes, <laughs> and yes, don't yes. owe loan sharks any money. <laughs> okay. And for you? Um, we- yeah, I think I would I, I would echo Edwin. I mean, um, hearing from some of these veterans has been amazing. Uh, so yesterday in the uh, no the day before in the CEO chat room series, um Tanji Liu said something about um, leaving a legacy, right? So at the end of the day, what kind of um, person do you want to be? And and now, you know, thinking about being a mother, the, it puts a new perspective on things. It? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's like, what kind of person do you want to uh, be for your kid um, to, to look up to, to want to be when they grow up? Right. And what kind of legacy you want to leave um, as well? And I think uh, on a more personal note, you know, um, I've been talking a lot to two other mothers uh, in who are in the finalist group as well. And one has three kids. Okay. Um, one has... Um, one kid and, and both of them started the business and then fell pregnant. Okay. So it's kind of good to know that, you know, the, these these ladies are there cheering me on and, right. and you know, they've got great advice um, as well for me. So that that has been a really good learning okay. and really good experience. What about with lean marketing and, you know, strategic influencing? Did, what were some things that you learned from those lessons? Hmm. I think with the lean marketing, uh, you know, we're, we're not quite proper SMEs yet. We're still mm. trying to bootstrap and, and find ways of, um, you know, doing things cheaply. So it was very good to just think and get creative and actually work on little things um, in those sessions itself. Um, you know, things to do with uh, online surveys and social media that, that we can get a lot better at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, um, lean marketing... Um I learned about like marketing is all about data, like mm. measure your data every single day and try a lot of different, different things, different, different campaigns and, you know, and track every single campaign. You know? uh, yeah. This business is all about um, tracking everything. Right. Okay. So, okay. so the big question, 250000 <laughs> if you win that plus other prizes. I know for you, you said you want to tr- probably look at a designer, yeah. hire a designer. What else would you be doing with that money? Um, I think for for us, because we want to be the fitness apparel brand in Asia. I mean, it's very scary, but exciting. Mm. Um, And and as we expand across all these different um, cities in ASEAN, you know, our operations are going to grow. The team is going to grow. We need to expand the apparel range. You know, we've got a, a... just launching like a menswear as mm. well. Um, so, so all that requires a lot of, you know, working capital up front. Um, right. And we've, we've had really, really good support from everyone. So we really want to give, give back as mm. well and see if we can find sustainable ways and projects um, in all these different cities as well mm. that we can partner with. All right. And yeah. for you? Um, for us, uh, we want to um, use the prize money to reward our amazing ah, subscribers. So subscribe now. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, correct. And, and um, um, uh, in their box, yeah. uh, if we win uh, in their box, we're going to give them like a really big surprise and like thank them, give them ah. a big big love or anything for supporting us for so okay. long. Yeah, that's, that's like... Um, no, uh, that's what we're gonna do, yeah. Okay, mm. and then, okay, all right. All the best to the both of you, um, you, and your big expansion plans. I'm speaking to Hui Matthews of Ashby.